welcome to Pack Attack, episode number 10 of... Brutal Battle. So, we're going to do something we haven't done in a bit with a Pack Attack. First of all, we don't do Pack Attacks often anymore, because a lot of the times we just don't see packs of beer that really catch our fancy all that much, but there's started to be some interesting ones popping up, and yeah, we decided, let's go for it. So... This one in particular, I was very surprised to find because it's three Floyds, and we just, within the past two years, I think, just started getting three Floyds back in Maryland. They were distributing a long time ago, like, I don't know, like 2010s or somewhere around there, like early 2010s, and then they pulled out of Maryland, and then they just came back recently. So I didn't know they were, you know, sending variety packs this far, but we found one, and this one looks good. It's three hoppy beers and one stout, and I'm very interested to see how these are. One of them I've had before. We've had one of these beers before. The other three we have not, so this should be very interesting. The other thing, one of the things we're doing that's uncommon for us, we're doing all four at once, uh, mainly because they're not super high ABV, and they're just 12 ounces, which is wonderful. Love those 12 ounce cans. So, without further ado, you ready? Let's, yeah, let's do it. All right. So, do you want to do the first one, or do you want me to do the first one? It doesn't matter. I can do it. Okay. Go for it. This is the one we've had before. Oh, okay. This is Zombie Dust. Yes. At one point, it was a very sought-after beer. It is. It says it's an undead pale ale. Got it. And it's 6.5%. All right. I remember really liking it. I think it... I don't know if it's still the same, but I think when it initially was out and everyone was clamoring to get it. Um, it was a full-on Citra uh, pale ale, and that's what people were all about. It's because that's when Citra was kind of new, and people were like, oh, man, Citra's like the best hop right now. And then people were like, oh, man, this beer has only Citra hops. It's so good. So it was like a it was a big deal. So, all right, let's take a look at this zombie dust. And it's been years since we've had zombie dust, like many years, so... Um, it looks like an IPA, kind of. Like, it looks... Very orange. orange. Yeah. Yeah. Orange. Slightly yellow to it. it. Smells good. Yeah, it's not, like, super robust. It's, like, I'm getting mostly orange. Yeah, it's very orangey. There's a little bit of, like, a maltiness that, like, more than you would assume for an IPA that's kind of poking out at the end. Yeah, that's which good. leads me to believe it's probably got a nice malt backbone to it, which a lot of IPAs these days really don't. That's exactly what I was going to say was malt. Sorry, pale ale. This is a pale ale, but... Well, wait a minute. It's 6.5? Yeah, that makes sense for a pale ale. Actually, the more I smell it, I'm getting a little apricot. I see what you mean about orange, but I'm getting apricot as well. Okay, I can see that. Orange apricot, and I'm sorry, very slight Vaseline. Very slight. But it might, you know, it may very well not be in the flavor. So we'll see. That's a decent bitterness. That's good. Yeah, I really like the bitterness. Oh, something else we have to say about this pack. This is almost, when we're tasting these, it's almost to three months in the can for these mm -hmm. beers. So that's why we when, when we found it, we were like, we need to record like now to make sure that they're within that three months because with hoppy beers, that's that's the time period I like. Well, we we both like, really. So It's good. It's not like blowing me away or anything. Yeah. I don't think this is citra only. I think they have changed their zombie dust uh, recipe most likely since I last had it a long time ago. Hmm. It's definitely pretty malty, but I, I'm down with that. I like that departure from what you're normally getting with IPAs. Um, pale ale. Oh, yeah. Pale ale. Sorry. Yeah, I get a lot of orange. A lot of orange. A lot of orange, and, a lot of orange peel. Um, definitely. I, it's almost too bitter for me. The bitterness is kind of high. Mean. Right. I see what you mean, especially because with hoppy beers, breweries have gone away from more bitterness. But I like it where it is. I think the bitterness actually kind of goes up at the end and makes that orange turn into a nice orange peel, which is nice. So, yeah. Okay. I, mean, I think it's good. Yeah, I don't dislike it. I'm just giving my Let's leave that to the side in case we need to taste and through it again. I know you said there's flavor textures. Not really. It's, oh, what does it say? It's just like... 
just talking about how you're going to drink this after the zombie apocalypse. Oh, okay. Do all these say... Oh, all of them say it, I think. Maybe. Oh, and what did you say that... What did you say the name of the pack was? Did you say the name? It doesn't have one. It's just a, a one of their variety packs, but it says, like... On the on the pack, it said it's not normal. Yeah, and on the can here, it says it's not normal. So, yeah, I think I'll just do that for, like, the name of the episode. Like, it's not normal. We'll see. Yeah. Hmm. But it's like, you know, it's like maybe zombie apocalypse-ish yeah. themed. I don't know. I think that was, like, the art that was on the yeah. box. So we're not going to read the flavor text because, yeah, when I look at it more, it doesn't... It, there's no flavor It doesn't say, say anything that describes anything, it just really. Talks about, yeah. Okay, so let's do the second one. You want me to do this one? Go for it. This is an exclusive to this variety pack. I, I love and I hate that. Right, I know. Because if you don't want to buy a variety pack, yeah, then you can't taste it. So yeah, that does kind of suck. But oh, actually, it looks like it's Is leaking. It leaking. Yeah, it looks like it's leaking. It looks like the can is not fully sealed at the top, and there's beer coming out. You see that? Huh. That's not great. We'll see how. I hope it's not like it's going to explode, infected or something. But we'll find out, I guess. Um, but this is called Age of Otters, and it's a 7% uh, IPA. Age so, of Otters. Yeah. Yeah, it's not going to explode. It's not infected. Well, it's not infected in the sense of, like, being a really carbonated or anything, but it's, um, I'm making a mess, though, when pouring it. It's definitely different in color. Yeah. You can just put it, like, right next to the zombie dust to see. Okay, not super different, but it, I, this is more yellow. It's still, yeah. like, orangey, though. It's not normal, though. It's not normal, Rebecca. Yeah, it's more on the yellow side, but it's still orange, for sure. <sighs> this so, is a very light nose. It's so tropical to me, though. Like, I'm getting, like... Yeah, it's a very light, lighter, like, the, the zombie dust was more, like, deep orange type smells. This is kind of, yeah, like you're talking. So tropical, like pineapple, maybe, like, papaya. I get grapefruit in there. Pineapple, papaya, grapefruit. Slight, slight, slight mango. Yep. Because there's that little bit of pininess that usually goes along with a mangoey smell. Yeah, that's the next one I was going to say. I like this nose better. Well, it doesn't smell like there's much bitterness to it in comparison to the zombie dust, and the maltiness is a lot less as well. It smells lighter, like a lot lighter, probably more crisp and refreshing. Yeah, agreed. I just took a sip. There's still a decent bitterness to it, though. Uh, yeah, actually there is. And the bitterness is more in check. I think I like this one a little it is. bit more. No, it definitely is. It's it's definitely further down than the zombie dust. I like, the flavors are kind of low level. They are. But they're coming together nicely. Yeah. This is one of those ones that you could kind of drink it faster if you wanted to and kind of ignore it a little bit or, you know, focus a little bit more and like get these flavors. It's, um, it's good. I mean, I'm tasting, what are you tasting out of it? Definitely getting the pineapple. Yeah. You got Pineapple. Getting that mango-y, mm -hmm. getting grapefruit. It's more like grapefruit peel. It's pretty good. I do like it. It's definitely lighter. Yeah. Like, the viscosity of it's definitely lower than the zombie dust is. It's pretty good. Definitely different. Yeah, I like it. I think it's pretty good. Okay. Oh, I should yeah, I'm drinking some water just to help with palate cleansing since these are all hoppy starting out. Okay, third beer. Zombie Ice. Zombie Ice. It's an undead double pale ale. Okay. So, I'm wondering... And this is 8.5%. Yeah, I'm wondering if this is going to be even more bitter, so you might want to prepare yourself for that. I'm running out of room for my glasses. Because it's also a zombie name. Let's find out.
How's that looking? I think it looks a lot like zombie dust. Yes. Maybe? Maybe it's, a it's darker. darker. It's definitely darker. It's kind of like starting to skew. To the red side. I was going to say that there's like a little brown creeping into it. Don't you think? Yeah. Oh. Smell. I'm just going to go into drinking. No, you can you can go ahead. We already talked about. Oh, oh you're going to drink you're, you're it. Going to drinking it. Mm, this smells sweet. Yeah, it smells like candy. Yeah. It's Doesn't like smell like candy to you? Orange candy. Yeah, it's like, it's literally like that dehydrated orange, but with sugar coating the dehydrated orange. It's very interesting. It does have a little bit of that kind of like candy smarty smell that I say mm -hmm. I get from a lot of hoppy beers from Trogues. I think this smells really good. I really like it. It is kind of low level though on the nose. Yeah, it's very low level. I you feel have like to that's go all kind deep. of that's like basically all I'm getting. Marmalade. Mm -hmm. Definitely marmalade. That kind of goes more with that sweetness. And there's a little bit of like a dirty dish rag smell. Hmm. Like dirty water. I just tasted it. It's um very low on the flavor. Still very bitter. And boozy. It's very sweet. Like we were saying on the notes, it's very sweet. I think it's very marmalade driven. Yeah. I mean, it kind of tastes like you're kind of dr like drinking marmalade because it has like a higher viscosity than yeah. the other beers. Um, I don't really like it. I don't dislike it, but it's also not like impressing me a ton. It's just hard, like, the higher an ABV is, the more I have to like it to justify sure. drinking yeah. it. Like, I prefer the first two. They're lower in ABV. They have more flavor. There's more going on. There's, like, so a... It's just low, low flavor and high booze. There is, like, this tanginess I'm getting at the end of each sip that I think is coming from two things. It's the combination of the, the level of sweetness along with the citrus flavor in there. And I kind of like that. I kind of like that it's this, like, quick, tangy hit at the end. I do like that. I don't dislike this. But I would also say that at 8.5%, not like that's astronomically no. high, but at 8.5%, there are beers lower ABV that I would prefer to have to this. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, let's put it where it is. Like, hoppy beers are a dime a dozen these days. Yeah. So... What makes you stand out, you know? Anyway. But. I'll clear my palate, but this next one is going to be very different. I still don't dislike it, though. Like, I still like it. I like all these beers. It's I don't just think I need to drink more of it. Okay. We'll see. All right, so the last one is... This one's actually one that they brought back. Uh, it was apparently pretty popular, and they did it some years ago. It was, like, vaulted as a recipe. So they brought it back for this pack. Um... It's 6.5%. It's called Black Sun, uh, and it's a stout. So that's speaking your, yeah, I your language. Even, I mean, we're getting out of stout season. But. Yeah. Well, and they released this. Well, this was, this was done in April. So it's just kind of interesting to release a stout in April, I think, don't you? Yeah. I mean, there's some people that drink them year-round. I mean, I... True. Like, I'm not going to drink it outside. It's going to be something I'm going to drink at home in the air conditioning. Right. I hear you. It's very carbonated. Mm-hmm. It's like a big pillowy head. Yeah, it's got a ton of head to it. ton of head. Okay. That's so, what I'm hoping for from this, before you say anything, is a, hop a pretty hoppy stout to kind of go along with the other hoppy beers, but we'll find out. I think you're going to get your wish. Really? Be because here's the reason I want that. Because I haven't had a really hoppy stout in a long time, and I love hoppy stouts. It's kind of like a better version of a black IPA, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. right. I mean, it looks like a stout, but the head's very brown. I mean, you definitely are getting... Mm. Are you getting hops? Yeah, it's pretty hoppy. Yeah, I think it's definitely hoppy. There's a good amount of bitterness but on there. But there's um, definitely some dark chocolate. There's dark chocolate. There's like a tobacco-y smell in there. 
I'm getting like tobacco, leather. There's an ashiness to it. There's a soy sauce going on in there. Like, none of that sounds appealing to me. It's got a lot going on. Like, there's a slight smoke to it. It's well. it, like, despite all those terrible words you use to describe this beer, <laughs> I do think it smells good. Yeah, no, it smells very good. I, I'm, okay. I'm going in. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. Ooh. It's very complex. Mmm. Yeah, it's got a lot, got a lot. It, it literally tastes like what I was talking about yeah. with really hoppy stouts. It tastes like... A better version of a black IPA because black IPAs are more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? More watery. And this has a lot more viscosity. It's bringing a lot more of that chocolate mm-hmm. with it. So yeah. you're getting like that nice creamy chocolatiness, but you're also getting a nice hot punch. So you get that nice citrus on it. It's definitely ashy and it's a little mm-hmm. drying in the yeah. finish too. Which would go with the dark chocolate yeah, because dark sure. chocolate is pretty drying, but... But it's got that really nice citrusy hoppiness that carries all the way through that really helps with the it, w- what could be an issue of that kind of bitter chocolate yeah. flavor. This is good. I really like this. This is really good. I'm, I am I see why this was a favorite. Yeah. This is an outstanding beer, and I, I got my wish. This is exactly what I wanted it to be, and it tastes really, really good. Now, here's the problem. It's only in this pack. <laughs> Can't get more of it, unfortunately. I mean, you can buy more of the pack. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. But this is very good. I got a decent amount of ashiness. The soy sauce I was getting in the nose, I'm not getting in the flavor, thankfully, because I think the hop character is really kind of, you know, tamping that down. But yeah, definitely a good amount of ashiness mm-hmm, to it. Very A little ashy. bit of like a smoky and a little leather, a little tobacco to it. It's very good. It's a very nuanced yeah. flavor to it. I could see why some people wouldn't like this beer, though. Sure. Yeah. Um, because it's definitely not. I guess I. I guess it's not like a traditional stout. Very different. Oh, wait. Why are you go, making faces. Go back to the zombie ice and see how that the tastes zombies. now. It tastes like. It tastes a little bit better, in my opinion. Like, it's a little more oh, citrusy. Yeah. It is more citrusy. Yeah. It's a lot more citrusy. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's interesting. It's more of, like, a nice marmalade. I'm actually getting, like, a little lemon on it now. Okay. I can see that. Uh, that speaks to that tanginess I said I was getting on the end of it. I'm just going back through and trying them all. Mm. After trying them all and then going back, the zombie dust is not tasting very good. Zombie does taste like water. Yeah, it kind of tastes like almost nothing. Um, hmm. But this is the problem with lining beers up like this that are all, like, competing hoppinesses. Like, they're going to mess each other up once your palate gets plenty of them on it. Um, well, okay, this is a good, solid pack that we yeah, can recommend. I, yes, I like the pack. I definitely like the pack. Um, trying to figure out where I would go with a ranking. Hmm. I like that. I am liking that. Mm. Okay. I think I know what I'm going to do. Uh, do you know how you want to rank them? Go ahead. Do you want to move the beers? I will when it's my turn. Okay. So I'm going to move them for me. Yeah. So my ranking is number four is going to be the Zombie Dust Pale Ale. I don't really like that that much. It's okay. Uh, my number three is going to be the Zombie Ice uh, Double IPA. Almost got my number two. It's very close for me. Almost got my number two. I'm liking it, especially after it warmed up a little bit more and after tasting the other beers, the more that citrus is coming through. My number two is going to be Age of Otters. This is nice. This is kind of light. It's very flavorful. I'm digging it. And my number one people probably guess this, is the Black Sun Stout, which is so nice and hoppy with those wonderful, like, ashy and dark chocolate stout flavors. I love it. I love this beer. I wish this beer was kind of available all the time. But anyway, Maybe what's yours? Will. You okay. going to move yours? I'm going to move mine around. Really? Okay. Very different. Like, 100% different than mine. Go ahead. Okay. My number one 
is the Age of Otters, the IPA. My number two is the Black Sun mm -hmm. Stout. Then the Zombie Dust. And then the Zombie Ice. Yeah, I figured Zombie Ice would be your last. I kind of thought that the Black Sun was going to be your number one. Yeah, I'm one and two and three and four are kind of close for me. Sure. My two and three were really close for me. Um, at any given moment, I would probably say I'd like the stout more. I just, I don't love hoppy stouts. I do. As um, you can tell. I, I, li I mean, I, I like it. I really, really like it. Good, yeah. But um, that Age of Otters is just... It's, it's very good. Well, and that's the thing. Another one. Exclusive to the variety pack. So yeah. there you go. But hey, this was a lot of fun. Uh, I think we might be doing another one. Uh, don't know how soon we're going to be doing that, but we will. But thank you, everyone, for checking this out. Really do appreciate everyone listening. And until next time, keep it brutal.